Yo, what's up everyone? Andrew Summers here coming at you with a video for my Lynx Unmanned Ground Vehicle, or UGV. Now, if you remember, a while back I posted a video of a different UGV that was a tracked version for my Chinese forces. This, however, is the fictional American counterpart. And unlike the prior uh, UGV that I posted, you can tell that this one has wheels. <laughs> now, the inspiration for this one, um, you know, it's, it's hard to say where I got it, actually. Uh, I think the concept behind it was just building what's essentially a remote-controlled car, just with off-road tires and some heavy armament. Now, where the armament is concerned, some of the things I've done are I've put a 50 caliber machine gun on here. This is pretty much actually just a, uh, a Brick Arms 30 caliber machine gun with some added detail to make it look like a 50 caliber. Uh, not exactly the biggest fan of the size of the Brick Arms 50. So, modified 30 caliber to look like a 50 caliber. Some other detail here, you can see that there are two sensors, one right here, another right here, so the operator can see when they're using the gun. Right below that, again, there are other two sensors here, same sort of purpose. On the side, you have some smoke launchers. And the party piece of this all is a Brick Arms M3 Moz rocket system. So you have heavy firepower in both the form of anti-vehicle and anti-personnel. Well, I suppose uh, 50 caliber is also anti-personnel. But you sort of get the point. You got a machine gun and you got a rocket launcher. Some added other details here, you just have binoculars to complete whatever look I'm going for there. On the front, you have some headlights. And on the rear, you get a tail lamp and a radio control system. Now, if you're looking at this and wondering how I've managed to do this sort of faux steering, faux suspension design, if we turn the vehicle over, you can see that I'm using hinges. So the hinges, you know, I can fold the vehicle in like this, not like um, that serves any purpose, but it's just so you can see that there is a hinge system I'm employing. And if you're wondering how the wheels sort of turn like they do, well, that's just down to the fact that I'm using turntable pieces. So you know the type, the 2x2 two two turntable pieces. Those allow the vehicle to move around like it's steering and also flex a little bit to go over obstacles. Now, I remember when I posted this on my Flickr, this is really two years back or so, I keep my stuff for a while, um, one person was asking, how would this thing actually function in the field? Because if you fire off the rocket that you see on the side right here, it's not like the thing reloads itself. You know, and I can't even say, oh, well, and pretend it does. It doesn't. So the idea behind this is that it would be fire support for troops on the ground. So the thing would roll up, it would shoot off, you know, its machine gun and then fire its rocket. Then it would duck behind cover or whatever, and then you'd have uh, a marine or a soldier or whatever. They would reload it. So just pull out the back end here, drop the spent shell out, pop another shell back in, and then you're ready to go again. So that's pretty much the idea behind it. And, you know, it's kind of kind of cool in concept. I know the U.S. military is testing a lot of drone designs and UGVs. I don't know if they have anything like this. I don't know if this would even be feasible. But, hey, if you're playing with uh, proposed future e-tech, I suppose almost anything is possible. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this look at my Lynx UGV. Uh, stay tuned if, if you'd like for other videos and content on some stuff I've made. But like, comment, subscribe, and uh, catch you in the next one. Bye.